Welcome back everyone to another exhilarating episode where we talk about tediously boring subjects like delays in motor, trigger, speed, timing, this thing, this button, how long does it take? Well okay, I, I couldn't stop at two videos on this subject, I had to keep on going. Right, so in the previous episodes we talked about the time delay between pulling the trigger and starting the spinning of the motor and I had only tested BL Heli not 32 or S versus Simon K and we ended up uh, realizing that BL Heli uh, imposed 136 millisecond delay uh, versus Simon K, which depending on the quality of the ESC, for me at least, was 24 milliseconds or 79 milliseconds. Obviously the longer was a poorer ESC. And you can watch that in the previous episode. Well this time, I had to know whether or not they'd made a difference in a BL Heli 32, which I've lost. Here we go. Funny enough it's stuck on there. So I have another ESC, and this one is a 32-bit processor. And I had assumed that, since it seems to be a programming based problem, well not exactly problem, programmed delay, that they wouldn't have done anything about it in BL Heli 32, but amazingly enough they actually have. They have improved it, so it uh, takes 50 milliseconds, or right between the, the two Simon K ones. Now, what I don't know is if this is fast or slow for BL Heli ESCs, because I only bought one, because I had assumed that it would be no better. But I was wrong, so I've ordered another one, because this thing seems really, really good. Well, if you're talking BL Heli, it's like a third of the time. Uh, and it has this one. I went out and made sure it had lots of capacitors all over it. Uh, and yeah, well good. What can I say? Stoked. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one.